Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the end crypto. Today, I'm going to explain what is a blockchain. Many people think of blockchain as a technology that powers Bitcoin. While this was its original purpose, blockchain is capital of so much more. Despite the sound of the word, there's not just one blockchain. Blockchain is shorthand for a whole suit of distributed ledger technologies that can be programmed to record and track anything of value, from financial transactions to medical records or even land titles. You might be thinking we already have have processes in the place to track data? What's so special about blockchain? Let's break down the reasons why blockchain technology stands to revolutionize the way we interact with each other. Reason number one, the way it tracks and stores data. Blockchain stores information in batches called blocks that are linked together in a chronological fashion to form a continuous line, metaphorically, a chain of blocks. If you make a change to the information recorded in a particular block, you don't rewrite it. Instead, the changes are stored in a new block showing that. Exchange to why at a particular date and time. Sounds familiar? That's because blockchain is based on a centuries-old method of general financial ledger. It's a non-destructive way to track data changes over time. Here's one example. Let's say there was a dispute between Anne and her brother Steve over who owns a piece of land. It's been in the family over years because blockchain technology uses the ledger method. There's an entry in the ledger showing that Adam first owned the property in 1900. When Adam sold the property to date in 1930, a new entry was made in the ledger, and so on. Every change of ownership of this property is represented. Buy a new entry in the ledger right up until and bought it from their father in 2007, and this is the current owner, and we can see that history in the ledger. Now here's where things get really interesting. Unlike the age-old ledger method, originally a book then a data file stored on a single system, blockchain was designed to be decentralized and distributed across a large network of computers. This decentralizing of information reduces the ability for data tampering and brings us to sound factor. That makes blockchain unique. It creates trust in data. Before a block can be added to the chain, a few things have to happen. First, a cryptographic puzzle must be solved, basketing the block. The computer that solved the puzzle shares the solution to all the other computers on the network. This is called proof of work. The network will then verify this proof of work. And if correct, the block will be added to the chain. The combination of these complex math puzzles and verification by many computers ensures that we can trust each other and every block in the chain because the network does the trust building for us. Now, we have the opportunity to interact directly with our data in real time. And that brings us to the third reason blockchain technology is such a game changer. No more intermediaries Cali when doing business with one another. We don't don't show the other person our financial or business records. Instead, we rely on the trusted intermediaries such as a bank or lawyer to view our records and keep that information confidential. These intermediaries build trust between the parties and are able to verify. For example, that yes and is the rightful honor of this land. This approach limits exposure and risk but also adds another shape to the exchange which means more time and money spent. If and land title information was stored in a blockchain, she could cut out that middleman, her lawyer, who would ordinarily confirm her information with his tip. As we know, all blocks added to the chain have been verified to be true and can be tampered with so, and can simply show Steve her land title information secret on the blockchain and would save considerable time and money by cutting out the middleman. This type of trusted peer-to-peer -peer interaction with our data can revolutionize the way we access, verify, and transact with one another. And because blockchain is a type of technology and not a simple network, it can be implemented in in many different ways. Some blocks can be completely public and open to everyone to view and access. Others can be close to a select group of authorized users, such as your company, a group of banks or government agencies, and there's a hybrid public-private blockchains too. And some of those with private access can see all data, while the public can see only selections in others. Everyone can see all data, but only some people have access to add new data. A 
government. For example, could use a hybrid system to record and the boundaries of Anne's property and the fact that she owns it while keeping her personal information private. Or it could allow everyone to view property records, but it reserves to itself the exclusive right to the app did them. It is the combination of all these factors, decentralizing of data, building trust in data, and allowing us to interact with directly with one another. And the data that gives blockchain technology the potential underpin many of the ways we interact with one another. But much like the rise of the internet, this technology will bring it with all the kinds of complex policy questions around governments, international law, security, and economics. If you want to learn more about it, you can subscribe to this channel where I will be making more videos. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.